this tutorial I am going to show you how to design this beautiful infographic in PowerPoint keys that I am using during the design you can see at the below bar follow these keys and watch the video till the end go to format background I am going to give it some different color this one is ok go to insert take a rounded rectangle and drag it, ver and drag it vertically shape fill no fill i'm going to get some guidelines horizontal guidelines one horizontal guidelines two and uh, i'm going to place it at the right place or on these horizontal guideline i will i'm going to make some anchor points over on it go to edit shape by holding control and click to take uh, an anchor point yes here and uh, by holding control take another anchor point or the second guideline take here another one open path delete this one and drag it drag this one to the left upper horizontal guideline i'm going to straight it it's okay control d to duplicate it and uh, place it uh, here at the right place edit point i'm going to control some anchor points one by one and over the upper guide horizontal guideline i'm going to take another anchor point by holding control and uh, click here yes and uh, delete this one it's okay i'm going to align it perfectly control uh, select both and go control g to group it control g to duplicate it and uh, flip uh, horizontal and again flip, flip vertical and now align it perfectly you can uh, make these shapes according to your requirement how many shapes do you need you can add more shapes by control D and uh, by editing some areas of these shapes by holding control d take another anchor point over the top horizontal guideline delete this one and uh, it's okay control d to duplicate it again and uh, flip horizontal and flip, flip vertical and now place it here at the right place align perfectly i think so it's okay i'm going to take another vertical guideline that align these shapes perfectly okay i'm going to delete this, this vertical guideline i'm going to give these shapes different one color and uh, having a guideline and a gradient also gradient go to gradient select i need only two stops I will delete extra stops. I am going to give it uh, this one color, okay. And uh, to another one is I, I think so, orange will be okay. From left to right direction.
okay select all to make the width increase that the gradient shows full sh the fully okay select this one now i'm adjusting the gradient also give this one a different one color yes and this will also take uh, an orange color i am going to give this one also a gradient because it joins the one shape to another it's look like a flow you can use this design for your process flow workflow flow chart and or any other requirements you can use this design oh sorry from left to right okay i'm going to make it okay I'm going to align the gradient okay i'm going to give it this dark color also delete extra stops i need only two stops and uh, give this one color yes and from left to right sorry and uh, i'm going to give it this one different one color the green when we okay and uh, i'm going to align the gradient perfectly now control g to group it and place it at the right place at the center of the slide no need for these guidelines i'm going to get, delete these guidelines okay begin arrow will go this no sorry end arrow end arrow is going to this one and i'm going to increase the size of the end arrow begin, no sorry begin it's okay some places i rotate these shapes so uh, uh, there i'm i'm confused uh, about their end arrow or uh, begin arrow so that's why i'm confusing uh, in some places but okay and arrow yes and the size i'm going to increase the size this will be also an end arrow this one and increase the size it's okay select all and control g to group it i'm going to give it uh, some shadow effect i think this will be okay and uh, it's not looks good the size when i'm increasing the size it's not look good no sorry i think uh, decrease the size to 100 it's okay I'm going to make it no its width is okay too and uh, place it at the center of the slide I have some written text that I uh, type earlier to save the time I'm going to bring it control C and control V to the slide place these text at the center uh, at the end of the shapes 
control D to duplicate it and place it one by one in these shapes. Okay, I'm going to change the font color also, the text color also to according to the shape. Here uh, your uh, title goes here. Okay. The heading title, main title place at the center of the slide. And you can also put some text at the end of the slide. as i do i'm going to take a line segment i'm going to take a line segment okay to take a line so, oh sorry delete this one this is an arrow i need a line segment i think i should take uh, a rectangle and then make it with very thin a rounded rectangle make it fully rounded and uh, decrease the width of the rounded rectangle shape fill no shape fill some gives it some dark gray color and uh, thank you for watching my videos i'm going to bring some icons you can find here uh, your icons according uh, to your text uh, just type the text in the search icon tab and uh, find uh, icons by holding shift alt and uh, make it a little bit smaller that uh, place it here and uh, give a premium look it is a meeting and uh, the meeting minutes in the second shape and uh, according to some finance briefcase and it is uh, the final stage of the infographic limit thank you for watching